See, it's a rookie mistake. What he should have done was dig a really deep hole, bury the body down in that, then cover it a little, then get like a dead dog or something and bury it on top of the dead body and then cover that. And then when the cadaver dogs are sniffing and people dig up the hole, they just find the dead dog and think that that's what triggered the cadaver dogs. What, he just left it out to decompose? Does he not know about hair mass? I mean, the body might disappear, but you're still gonna have to deal with hair mass. If you're gonna put a body in a wood chipper, you have to freeze it first, otherwise it just clogs up the gears. Actually, it takes way longer to cremate a tiny person than it does a really large person because the body fat actually incinerates at higher temperatures. It causes like a grease fire. You can't just dump a body in water. As it starts to disintegrate, pieces come off and float up. See, it's a rookie mistake. What he should have done was dig a really deep hole, bury the body down in that, then cover it a little, then get like a dead dog or something and bury it on top of the dead body and then cover that. And then when the cadaver dogs are sniffing and people dig up the hole, they just find the dead dog and think that that's what triggered the cadaver dogs. What, he just left it out to decompose? Does he not know about hair mass? I mean, the body might disappear, but you're still gonna have to deal with hair mass. If you're gonna put a body in a wood chipper, you have to freeze it first, otherwise it just clogs up the gears. Actually, it takes way longer to cremate a tiny person than it does a really large person because the body fat actually incinerates at higher temperatures. It causes like a grease fire. You can't just dump a body in water. As it starts to disintegrate, pieces come off and float up.